everybody and welcome. I'm Miss Lisa, the Youth Services Librarian at the West Osceola Library. And are you ready to get down for some simple science? Today, I would like to talk to you about the life cycle of a butterfly. Now, I have this book that is one of my favorite books. It was written by Eric Carl. It was also illustrated by him as well. And as you can see, I'm kind of decked out in my Very Hungry Caterpillar attire because this has been my favorite book ever since I was a little girl. And what this book does is it tells you about the life cycle of a butterfly. It tells about how the butterfly starts off as a tiny little egg. And that egg hatches into a tiny little caterpillar. And that caterpillar will eat and eat and eat and eat for days until he's ready to transform into an adult. And he finds a place to be safe. And he creates a little chrysalis. Sometimes they call it a cocoon. And that helps to keep him safe. And inside that cocoon, he does his little magic. And finally, when he emerges, he turns into a beautiful butterfly. And this big change is what we call a metamorphosis. And here I have some pictures for you. And I borrowed this picture from the US Fish and Wildlife Services website. And you can see here in the first picture, the tiny little caterpillar egg. And it hatches into a caterpillar. And then he creates his chrysalis, his little safe home that he's going to do his transformation in until he emerges as a beautiful butterfly. Now, butterflies are not the only animals that go through a metamorphosis. And if you come into the library, we have lots of books that you'd be able to check out about such animals or creatures. All right. So now, what I would like to do is I would like to do a very hungry caterpillar activity where I start out with a few supplies that I need. I need some markers. I need some glue sticks and some scissors. I need some clothespins, the kind of clothespins that you clip. I need a paint stirrer that you can get from your local hardware store. If you don't have a paint stirrer, you could use a piece of green construction paper or a piece of green oak tag, something that's hard. And I need one of the printables and the link will be below in the post. And it looks like this. It's the Very Hungry Caterpillar story sequencing. And what we're going to do is we are going to create the, the story on our clothespins so that you can retell it later. Now, what I did was I took my sequencing printable, which I got from schooltimesnippets.com, and it was the Very Hungry Caterpillar clip art was licensed to Empty Jar Illustrations, and Hello Palazzo clip art licensed to Jen Jones. So those also will be down in the comments. And what I did was I first took my paint stick and I took a green marker and I colored the paint stick green. You can take it, you can color it. Make sure you put it on top of something so that if you get some of the marker on something, it's not the table, it doesn't ruin the table. All right, so I took and I painted that whole paint stick green. I could also use paint if I wanted to, like school paint. I could use watercolor paints if I would like to. And I painted the front with, I didn't paint it, I actually colored it with my marker. And then what I did was I cut out the very hungry caterpillar's head and I glued it to the top. Then I cut out individually each one of these circles. After I cut it out, I took it and I took my glue stick and I glued it to my clothespin. Now you want to make sure that you have all your clothespins going the same way. Do you want to make sure that when you glue, you glue just the edge of your clothespin and you want your picture upright on the clothespin and you're going to press it down and it will dry on there. Now, like I said, you want to make sure they're all going the right way. It'll be easier with the story retell. Now I did this for all of these and I just wanted to make it a little quicker for you. So you can see I have the caterpillar, I have the leaf with the egg on it, 
I have what the very hungry caterpillar ate through, the apple, the two pears. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to retell the story. You can either read the story or someone can read it to you, and then you will tell the story to someone else. And as we remember in the story, that very hungry caterpillar started out by being a little egg. So we're gonna take that egg and we're going to clip it on. Then that egg hatched into a caterpillar and we're gonna clip it on. And that little caterpillar was hungry. So on the first day, he ate through one apple and we're going to clip it on. And then on that second day, he ate through two pears and I'm going to clip it on. And you're gonna go through all of the rest of the parts of the story and you're going to clip it onto your paint stick. And here you have the very hungry caterpillar story sequencing that you can tell the story over and over again. Now every year in the library what we like to do is we like to raise some butterflies starting out as caterpillars and then we take them and release them into our butterfly garden in the front of the building. And what I would like to do now is I would like to take you out with me as I release these butterflies into our garden. Come with me. Come on. Welcome to our West Osceola Library Butterfly Garden. This butterfly garden was planted by our local Girl Scouts of the Imagine community. And it was also helped to be planted by the Osceola County Extension Services Master Gardeners and Thrivent. And right now I have my butterflies right here. We'd like to release them into our butterfly garden. And let's hope they come out and stay with us for a little bit. So here, ooh, there's our first butterfly right into the garden. And these butterflies will hang around for a couple days. Oh, we have about, I don't know, maybe four or five butterflies. Oh, he's stuck. He doesn't want to come out. Oops, we're having trouble. There we go. This one wants to stay with me, so I'm going to try to put him on a, a leaf. There he goes. And like I said, these butterflies were raised from caterpillars. They found a safe place to make their chrysalis inside of the habitat. Oh, he's still on my finger. <laughs> and then when they came out, they morphed as butterflies. So here's another one. Oh, there we go. Check out our butterfly garden. See you next time.